Okay, answer to the first quiz question. So if you haven't seen it, the question was one of my learners, Tegan, she was pulling forward uh, for a right turn at some traffic lights. And in doing so, she blocked, you can see the studs there of the pedestrian crossing. And I asked you if she was on her driving test, what would she have received? Would it be A, a serious fault, B, a driving fault, or C, no fault at all? And only one person got the answer right. Well done, Mr. Wayne. I knew it would be you, to be fair. But Wayne got the answer right. And the answer is C, no fault. Okay, so I did deliberately lead you up the garden path a little bit by introducing Rule 192 about keeping pedestrian crossings clear. That's actually advice, it's a should, it's not the law. Um, so even if you blocked a pedestrian crossing on your driving test, if no one wanted to use it, you would get no more than a driving fault. However, think about the situation that Tegan's doing. She's turning right at lights. As Wayne correctly says, when traffic has a green light, that pedestrian crossing is not active. There's no uh, green light for the pedestrians allowing them to cross. They have a red light or a red man in this case. And therefore, blocking the pedestrian crossing actually is completely irrelevant, has no inconvenience possible that's caused. Now, the way you can tell the difference between actually a pedestrian crossing that we should be keeping clear in traffic and one at a traffic light like this, traffic lights don't have any markings on the approach to them. They just have lane markings potentially. Pedestrian crossings have white zigzag lines on the approach to them. So I'll put a few up on the screen. Now the, the meaning of those markings is no parking and no overtaking, especially the lead vehicle. However, what I certainly teach my learners is when you see those white zigzags, you need to be looking both sides for pedestrians and we need to be keeping it clear in traffic. So a traffic light doesn't have those markings a pedestrian crossing does. Pedestrian crossings, of course, can be built into traffic lights, but they are not going to be active while traffic has a green light. So if you're on a green light and end up, in, as Tegan did on a, a lesson there, actually blocking it at the pedestrian crossing, matters not. Um, hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be plenty more quiz questions to come. Uh, if you haven't seen me before, there's plenty on my channel. I'm just currently organising it a bit better than it is. Uh, there's a driving basic series, which is just challenging people to think about the way they're do doing and the ba very basics of driving. Are we getting it right? This new section of quizzes, so it's going to be a weekly quiz where I just put a random question online and see how good your knowledge is, see if you know as much as you think you do. And certainly it's a good way of just developing yourself and your knowledge, uh, no matter how long you've been on the road. There's driving lesson footage. I've got some uh, drone footage that I've used for instructional videos and I'm adding to the website all the time or the, the um, adding to the channel all the time. Uh, so please do like, subscribe. It helps more than you know. Um, slowly growing the channel and obviously the, uh, the dream is to get big enough to actually make a difference in terms of road safety.